What's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandroid.com. You're watching the Android Overload and these are the top Android news stories for Tuesday, February 5th. If you are excited to get your hands on the world's first Android mini console, the OEL will be available at Best Buy, Target, and GameStop starting this June for $99 retail. The console itself will come with one controller and you'll be able to get an extra controller for $50. Now that's significantly more than uh, the regular retail price for an extra controller, which is uh, supposed to be $30, but it looks like uh, stores like GameStop and Best Buy and, and whatever are trying to make some profit off of the system. Uh, given that, they're not gonna actually be able to sell uh, physical games for the OUYA in their stores. Kinda sucks, but I kinda get it too. So Amazon announced today uh, a new virtual currency that they're going to be using for, I guess, people to uh, buy and use in their app store. It's called Amazon Coins. And I guess, according to Amazon, it's supposed to be easier than just, you know, paying for things the old fashioned way with your credit card. Now you can buy Amazon Coins, have those, you know, uh, stashed in some kind of mobile wallet and then use those to pay for apps. I, uh, I'm failing to wrap my head around how this could be easier for anybody. I know I hate it on Xbox Live and PSN when you have to buy Microsoft points and all that other stuff. Uh, it just gets confusing and I feel like it's just a way for these big, you know, corporations to kind of... Uh, frustrating, frustrating. But unlike Microsoft and Sony, which makes you use it on their uh, consoles, I guess this is still just another option available for consumers, so uh, I'm going to stick to my good old fashioned credit card. <laughs> it looks like Google is getting set to release Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean sometime later this month. This is going to be the last version of Jelly Bean, the last update that Jelly Bean will see before uh, Google moves on to Key Lime Pie, which we fully expect to uh, see or get announced at uh, May's Google I.O. developer conference. The Android 4.2.2 update is said to just address Bluetooth issues issues, uh, so don't really expect anything too major. And if you're running anything but a Nexus device, I don't uh, <laughs> don't expect to see it on your phone uh, or tablet anytime soon. Uh, you'll probably see Key Lime Pie before you ever see 4.2.2. So Google's Chrome OS could be seeing a unified notification center similar to uh, like we've seen on uh, OS X or iOS. A guy by the name of Francois Buford actually leaked some images of uh, Chrome OS with a cool little notification section down on the side. And just like Google now, it has a bunch of cards there and it's giving you, you know, updates on uh, photos your friends have shared with you, new messages, missed calls, and other stuff. The icon itself looks like five little speech bubbles, or four of them anyway, different colored speech bubbles, uh, which are leading some to believe that this new feature could be coming to Android in the very near future. We'll have to wait and see, of course, but I fully expect Google to unveil something at Google I.O. in May with their latest Android dessert, Key Lime Pie. Google updated their Android distribution chart. What this is is a big pie chart showing you uh, the, all the Android devices in the world, uh, the current version of Android they're running. Now, usually this is kind of embarrassing for some because there's pretty much nobody running the latest version of Android. By the numbers, uh, there's only 1.4% of Android devices currently running Android 4.2, which is basically just Nexus devices. Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, like uh, the Galaxy S3 and Galaxy Note 2 and uh, HTC Joy DNA, that's on 12.2%. And collectively, devices running Ice Cream Sandwich come in at an almost even 29%. So the way I see it, anything running Ice Cream Sandwich and above is doing great. And that's currently over 40% of Android devices that are on Ice Cream Sandwich or above. And this has little to do with the Google Google, they can't enforce or they can't uh, make Android manufacturers or handset manufacturers uh, update to the latest version of Android. All they can do is release it and hope that somebody jumps on it. All right, so that just about wraps it up for the Android Overload on Tuesday, February 5th. Make sure you hit the description down below for links to all the articles I talked about here. And if you like these videos, uh, click the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. With Fandroid.com, I am Chris Chavez. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time.